When I um, go around the country and talk to farmers about communication issues, one point they most of them like to make is that can't we get more positive materials, more positive messages into schools? You know, schools are really important. Children are our future consumers. They're our future citizens. Uh, and I, you know, I do agree that a lot of the uh, curricular materials in schools about agriculture aren't particularly positive, and that frustrates me. And it's something that we need to uh, address. And I'm very pleased to say that the NFU, in conjunction with FACE, are launching a, a, an education pack in July. Uh, and the idea of the education pack is that it gives teachers curriculum based materials about agriculture which contains positive messages about the way farmers look after the environment, about the way they look after the countryside, about how they produce traceable wholesome food and about how they have a good animal welfare record uh, and so they intertwine those messages in with curriculum relevant uh, materials so they can use them in their lessons uh, and so there's uh, a booklet uh, with uh, different ideas, uh, there's a CD, a film of farmers talking positively about their roles as farmers uh, and there's posters such as this one which uh, children can then stick onto the classroom wall uh, this one's about livestock, there's others about combinable crops or potatoes and sugar beet uh, there's one about dairying uh, and there's one about horticulture uh, and we hope that with this pack it will be readily taken up by the schools in, in conjunction with Year of Food and Farming uh, and we can get those messages we really want to hear loud and clear told in the classroom There's 10,000 packs for primary schools, 5,000 packs for secondary schools uh, and we hope that they'll go like hotcakes and we can produce more uh, because there are thousands and thousands of schools in this country. Uh, and that's one of the NFU's contributions to the Year of Food and Farming which is being rolled out next September for a year which is a, a government initiative to try and get uh, schools to take food and farming into their curriculums uh, and this is one contribution the NFU is going to make. But I do hope that farmers themselves will also feel that they, as individuals, should be doing something for Year of Food and Farming, because it's very important that we uh, get children onto farms, that farmers go into schools, so we can explain to children why it's important that they take farming seriously, why they, they, they can better understand the role of the farmer in the countryside, that they better understand where their food comes from, uh, and also they understand how the farmer uh, manages the countryside. He's a welcoming, responsible individual who's happy to see responsible individuals on his farm walking along the footpaths and the like. Another initiative that the NFU has been involved with is Open Farm Sunday and today we spent uh, the morning on Peter Kendall's farm in Bedfordshire and we've had 70 uh, primary school children come round. We broke them up to three groups of 20 so they're more manageable uh, and then we took them around various stops and we showed them how wheat was milled into flour and turned into bread so they understand the food chain from, from field to plate. Uh, we explained about hedges and margins and wild flowers and uh, we even found a couple of little water voles which is a great treat for the children so they understand how through the management of the farmer uh, a habitat is created uh, for things like that and for butterflies and birds and birds nests and so forth and we also showed them uh, some sheep just to explain the livestock uh, as part of the food chain. And it's very important that we get children out onto farms, that they have a, a positive, uh, educational, enjoyable day out, uh, and they meet uh, welcoming, positive farmers who are pleased to see them uh, and have something to engage them with that uh, they, they want to learn about. Mm -hmm.